Uh, do you think they just being away from rap for so long and being that you guys never stopped made them gun shot. Did you? Yeah. Made them tentative. I don't know. And if I sit here and say maybe, then it looks like the same way when y'all ask Royce, you think it might have been a money? Maybe they need that. And he goes, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it just leaves. I hate that. That room in the, just the air. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know what his shit was. But why don't you know? We all brothers. Right. That's a good point. Why don't you know? That's a good point. Ego. That's Ego. what makes the question. That's a good point. Ego. Because if I am nervous about it, I'm not going to tell you because of my ego. Well, here's the thing, though. I already proposed that to Royce on the phone one time, and I told him, you know, Joe wasn't talking to me. So I told, I told Royce, I was like, yo, if he want us to come down to the studio and we get some reps in so he can get back on his A game, let's I do remember that. that. I remember right. that happened. Let's do that. Right. He might have been spitting verses to somebody that, nah, Joe, that ain't it. It's over for you, dog. You don't well, got it no more, well, nigga. Maybe he and he's did, like, I, no, I can't do this my, album. In my heart of hearts, man, he became so successful in the podcast space. Why would he go back to that shit? Yeah, I don't know. In that same breath, you're right. I don't knock that either. I don't knock like, that. Ah, so you knock that. So, oh, no, so no. then you got Math Hoffa, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Hoffa? And um, I'm here. I'm successful in this. Seeing a, a lot more money than my former peers. I still got that passion. Everybody's different. Yeah, but that's, you're, that's, that's you. That that's you, though. That's you. He be playing different. a shit that knocks. Word. And even, even when Mech tries to ignore it. I just turn it louder and I'll be like, yo, you heard well, what I'm that's saying? What I'm saying. Yeah, but that's crazy. What I'm saying. But, right. but I mean, you coming from a battle rapper too, y'all are super competitive. Y'all super competitive. Yeah. Um, that's the epitome of competitive lyricism. Now you're talking about a rapper who battled the battle rapper. Do you think super competitive? Jay Z rhymed on his beat, and he had he felt the the urge I'm not to taking rhyme away, on it. I'm not taking away from his competition again, right, yeah. back then. Mm -hmm. He's about what six years removed from the microphone, maybe. Yeah, he might be just be rusty, and That's he was nervous. six years. Man, you would get real comfortable in six years. That's a fact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And my whole thing is, it don't even matter to me. Just tell me what it is. Yeah, I, I think Joe should have just called him and be like, "Yo, I don't got it no more." If that's the truth. If that's the fact. If, if that's, that's, if that's truth, what it was. If that's his truth. You what, know what, what I'm going to say? What the fuck? Nah, you got to do this, Joe. Fuck that. Nah, you know just being your but truth. Imagine <laughs> the type of confidence you have to have to say, all right, these guys are some of the best rappers, in my opinion. I stopped rapping for six years, and then I'm going to just start again and be on par? We were already saying shit like, yo, he could just come jump on two or three joints, talk on some joints, and have his presence be felt. He don't got to go. Like, we were, doing, we were doing gymnastics trying to get shit to go, to, to go down. Right. It wasn't going down. And let's just it don't matter. Bro. Joe is a slaughterhouse member. He's elite. His fall off is still finishing, dudes. Mm. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? So who you in comp with? Us? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no need to do that, right? We got this. All right, cool. Shoot. Give us eight balls and a hook. Shit, what cool out. Participate. At what? some point. <laughs> like, you know, if that's the case, I doubt that's the case, bro. Mm. He said it was the ownership. That's he, said see, the that's ownership. The, the own he said it was the ownership. He said it was the ownership. But, right but, that, but once they the got ownership. it off the label for a year and a half, that, and nothing that happened. That got blurry there, but he said that he want, if there, were, I think he was, they was expressing whatever deal he was bringing, still wasn't given ownership. Mm -hmm. Which wasn't true. That was a lie, though. That's and a lie. The thing was that he didn't want to perform or nothing that they, you know, well, the whole thing is, out of control. The whole thing is, I personally, because I fucked with Roy so heavy, I was willing to try to get Joe anything he requested in the deal. He wanted more money. He wanted a bigger percentage. He wanted, a, I was prepared for that because I fuck with Royce. And I know Royce ain't going to do it without Joe. So I was prepared for that. But we never had the conversation. I was prepared for that. So when he says there's no ownership, it's like, bro, we, what do you think we're doing? Going around signing contracts like we was fucking 20 years old? I've been signing to three majors in my life. Virgin Records, Death Row Records, Shady Records. 
That in, that in itself been, is a feat. Word. That you was word. on death row and shading. Yeah. Word. I mean, I've, I've, my mentor, Elijah, shout out Elijah, he mentored me on how to read contracts when I was 18 years old. I knew about mechanical royalties and the statutory rate when I was a fucking teenager. Why the fuck would I come to the table with some shit that's faulty? Why the fuck would yeah. I? You talk about ownership. Suge taught me ownership in 2001 when he had his own masters. What are you talking about? I'm the one who wanted to own Slaughterhouse Records with my brothers and put out our people that's under us. What are you talking about ownership? See, that's the attack on my business acumen again. That's where it's coming from. And for, for the, the uh, person who doesn't know, they just think, oh, he wanted to do a 360 deal or he wanted to do some yeah, shit. Yeah, it looks nasty. You know, he, he's, he's narrative he's, painting. At, at, yeah, he's painting it like man. I was a, of course, Crook wanted to get, do the deal. He, wave a check. Wave, you know, he was painting. You he know, was painting, man. Fucked up. And it's like, yo, bro. Those are the surprising things. You know what I'm saying? It was the ongoing mm. joke was. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh shit. The ongoing joke at Slaughterhouse was that I was doing all I was doing business all the time. Cause this is me on the tour bus. Yeah. So yo, how when is them boxes coming in? All right, cool. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. All the time. Yeah. So you're gonna sit around here and try to turn the narrative because I don't particularly show that side of myself all the time. Mm. You're gonna, you're gonna. Paint the narrative that, yeah, you know, there was this and that. No, stop it, bro. You don't want to rap for whatever reason. I don't know. Royce doesn't understand that. Or you, you and Royce are having a different conversation that I, I, I'm not privy to. Maybe you're having a conversation where you're telling Royce, yeah, we can rap as long as we get A, B, and C. We already did A. We got off Shady for you. Right. We ended a relationship. You know what I mean? that I thought was not a smart move. At, I mean, at that point, it was like, all right, it's been fucking nine, nine years. Might as well see if these niggas is gonna really put it together if we get off the label. It's been nine years. But- How, how difficult was that? It was easy. It's crazy, bro. What, to leave? Yeah. yeah. They, they, it was easy. They didn't say, oh, you guys are in the red, you guys owe us this, you got to do this, got to do that. They was like, all right, cool. There y'all go. Yeah. Attorney to attorney, done. It was a breeze. Yeah, M, What people don't know is M wanted Slaughterhouse to work like a motherfucker. He felt like Slaughterhouse was the most lyrical group since whoever. And Fact. he wanted to push that shit to the moon. Yeah, big plans. On he me. stayed in the fucking studio. Nine, ten hours at a time, fucking tweaking, tweaking oh hooks, and doing all type of shit, busting his brain. And then once the first shady release came out, and people were like, maybe his presence was a little bit too much. He said, "I right, I'm gonna sit back. On I'm gonna sit one. back on this. Do y'all? Do y'all? Cut the check for the budget for us to come out here. I'm staying in a fucking penthouse for fucking thirty days." And he's like, "Do y'all?" So. There's a lot of narratives being put out there. That was false. It just, it ain't, it ain't all the way right, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like I said before in this conversation, I don't ever forget nothing that nobody did, did for me. I still call Paul Rosenberg to this day. What's happening, Paul? What's good with you? Oh, man, I'm just chilling. Yo, you chase that one cigar, that shit crazy. You need to fuck with it. And reason why I have respect for Paul Rosenberg, because he gave us a shot. He tried. But if you never been in that motherfucking car, looking in that rear view, cause you got work and you sweating when the motherfucking sirens is back there and you never been in that position and you, somebody tries to deliver you from that position and somebody gives you a way for you to try to put food on your kid's table. You ain't gonna put the same weight on it. You ain't gonna put the same weight on it. You can't, you don't know it. You see what I'm saying? Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard, making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve you heard.